Here's a little song for you, Mr. Ashley. We are the magpies and we stick together so we get out of our club choking on black and white feathers. Lack of investment has us playing like strangers. Up your state to Glasgow and fuck off the Rangers. With 2.3 billion, this is absurd. Splash it on players. It's quiz time. Most profitable club in the Premier League? Man United, surely. Or Tottenham under Daniel Levy. Even Arsenal under Professor Wenger. No, it's Newcastle. There's no arguments for me about the way Mike Ashley as a businessman, runs Newcastle United. You have to strengthen a football club in the Premier League. There's no communication whatsoever from fan to Mike Ashley. Us Newcastle fans don't expect a lot from the football club. We don't expect trophies. We don't expect Champions League football. All we expect is a bit of ambition to go for as a football club. Kevin, you're in a great position to comment on all this. Why do Newcastle fans, can you summarise why they dislike Mike Ashley so much? Because there's no trust there. And uh, <clears throat> there's no trust there because from day one, they've been misled. I'm talking about Mike Ashley and Derek Lambias. He would agree to Keegan with Lambias, yes, we're going to bid this amount for a player. He would then ring Lambias up afterwards and said, well, actually, we're going to bid, bid two or three million less because we're not really bothered about getting anyone in. They don't like parting with their money. Why on earth would you buy a toy for a billionaire, which is a football club these days, if you're not prepared to use it? That's because Mike Ashley is not a real billionaire. He isn't what we need to make a success of this club. You know, if you get 11 million for James Milner and you go for another player similar, they say, well, if he's worth 11, our guy's got to be worth nine. He's out. Uh, Mike's distanced himself from it by saying it was tongue-in-cheek. Um, what do you make of it? It just lacks a lot of class, you know. I feel sorry for the football club. Have you read his comments this morning in Independent? Uh, they've been made to my, uh, made me aware of them, yeah. But, um, you know, I've been under pressure at this football club for, for a number of weeks now. And, you know, all I can focus on is the team, and, that, and that's what I'll do. We're, we're sick. We're sick of... Mate, Ashley, was sick of being treated like uh, second citizens. Porto and Ashley, they took the mick too long. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Ashley's done nothing for us. He wants to be a mid-table club. We only love the club. We love Newcastle United. Do you think it'll have any effect? No. Never. You don't, don't think care. it'll ever get he through? He doesn't care. He, he doesn't care about this. Does Mike still want to be here? Probably not, because the people want to be here. Probably not. Hello, it's Mike Ashley here. Yes, bar homeboard. I think we've got a good enough squad as it is. We're going to spend no money, nothing at all. We've got a great squad, a squad that can take us to the Champions League. Absolute another shambles of a transfer window for Newcastle United Football Club. It's that fat Mike Ashley's fault, at least. It's not Joe Kinnear's fault, it's a fat twat Mike Ashley's fault. Mike Ashley is really killing this club and, and people don't fucking realise it unless you're actually connected to the club. Mike Ashley has killed this fucking club. He's killing it. And I, I don't even care if we stay up the season. It's not even a fucking bout that anymore. We've got no heart. The soul of this club is fucking dying. And um, big changes need to be made at the football club. Um, players need to go out. Players need to come in. Whether that's the right time to talk about that now, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, it hurts. I've just said to them in there, as a dressing room, you can, we can make all the excuses you like. Uh, I wasn't good enough, Mike Ashley's not good enough, Chris Hewton, Kevin Keegan, Joe Kinnear. Forget that, it's what's in the dressing room that hasn't been good enough. All of us. We're all in it together. Um... I'd probably say the last good thing he did for the club was 